Hey guys, what is up? Mushroom Gecko here. Welcome back to another Team Fortress video. This one's a little out of whack from my other videos. Uh, this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Team Fortress run as smooth as possible on your PC. Alright? So the first thing you're going to want to do is do Control alt delete on your keyboard. Go down right here to Task Manager. And then it's going to bring this up. Some of you may have this. And if you have this, just click on More Details and it should bring up this. So the next, uh, you... Uh, currently, I have it highlighted over processes. I'm going to go over right here to performance. Uh, right here, CPU. And if I go down, this is my memory. My computer overall has 8 uh, has eight gigabytes. This is how much is in use, 2.4. And this is how much I have available, 5.3. So then, um, I don't want to use all of my computer data. But, um, but what you're going to want to do is take your... You, your uh your number right up here right where my mouse is next to memory over to the far right and you're gonna look at that and you're gonna multiply it by 1000 and then another 1000 so it's gonna be 8 and it's gonna be 8000 and then 8 million so then right here this is how many 8 million is how many kilobytes I have so then you're gonna divide that by 2 and then that's roughly around 4 um, 4 million, yeah, 4 million kilobytes, and then that, and then this is right here, right here, the available gigabytes I have, that is a little, um, lower than what I have available, everyone says to use a little, a little less than half of your memory, but I'm actually telling you to go a little over because you have roughly this much available because right now I have 5.3 gigabytes available but when I boot up Team Fortress all that's going to go away and then like <clears throat> and uh yeah so probably stick with the number pro probably go to half because it depends all on your PC really I mean like I can go a little over but I recommend for all of you, just, just just stay roughly around half, or like like if you have an eight gigabyte computer, just 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 do four million kilobytes. All right. So then, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to Steam. You're gonna want to go to your library. You're gonna go to games, and then uh, it's gonna bring you up to this page. You're gonna go all the way down to Team Fortress. You're gonna right click, go over here to properties. All right. Now pay t attention closely. All right. What I'm about to show you, you don't need to worry about. Um, it's going to be all in the description. But I, what I do want you to worry about in the description, though, is if you go over here, you can see right here my heap size is about 5 million. Uh, I went over the amount. I I, I went over my, my, um, my half. A million over my half. Uh, that's like an extra gigabyte. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys probably want to do that, but like my computer is fairly good. So I'm putting it around 5 million. So let's say you have uh, like my 8 gigabytes I just showed you guys right here, and it's going to be uh, 8 million kilobytes, and then you divide that in half, and that's going to be 4 million kilobytes. Whatever you divide in half, that's the number that you're going to be replacing with the 5 million right around here. You're going to be taking that out, and then you're going to... Uh, do 4 million that is yeah I think that's 4 million but I'm gonna do 5 million because that because my computer can handle that but whatever your maximum gigabyte is uh, times 1000 and times 1000 again and then divide that in half that is your kilobyte amount that you want to use for your computer so if you guys are confused I'm just gonna go through it one more time very slowly you're going to go control alt delete on your computer. You're going to go task manager. It should bring up this page. If you have this, if you have this page right here, go down, click more details. All right? Then go over to performance. And you go down here to memory. And then all the way over here to the right of memory is your gigabytes. You're going to multiply that by 1000. And you're going to multiply it by 1,000 again. And then it's going to be um, in the millions range then. 
So if you have a two gigabyte computer, it's going to be two million kilobytes. And then divide that in half, that's going to be one million kilobytes is what you're going to put in Team Fortress. All right. My friend. Uh, I have a friend that recently got Team Fortress. It's not working too well on her computer. She has a Windows 8, uh, one or two year old computer. I, it's good. But it just doesn't like to run Team Fortress very well. In her case, she has 15 gigabytes. She can multiply that by 1,000, which is going to be 15,000. She's going to multiply it by 1,000 again. That's going to be 15 million. She's going to divide that in half. And that's going to be roughly around 7,500,000 kilobytes. And that's the number she's going to put in the Team Fortress thing. And if you want to go to the Team Fortress thing, you go to your, uh, you go to your Steam library, you come down to Team Fortress, you right-click, you go right here to Properties, and you go all the way over, you go to Set Launch Options, and then I'm going to give you guys a little command in the description. And then... Um, Right here is, is 5 million. In her case, she's not going to want 5 million because her computer has so much more memory than that. Hers is going to be, what did I say, 7,500,000. So 7,500,000. And that's going to, and that's what her number is going to be right there. All right. But I am 500,000. Or 5 million, sorry. Um,. So I'm going to press OK, and then you're going to be all good. You're going to press Close. And then after you put all that information in and you change what is called your heap size, which is the one thing with the 5 million in there, right here. Uh, over, I think. Hang on. I went too far back. Oops. Um, yeah, like once you change 5 million to your appropriate number, you're going to click OK. You're going to close this. You're going to play Team Fortress. Um, I'm just doing it in Windows mode for now, okay? But what you want to do is that the code is going to make it so that your Team Fortress is full screen. Which is going to make your computer focus on Team Fortress more than anything else on your computer. I, um, I also put a code in there to make it so that your computer sees Team Fortress as an extremely high priority and to focus on Team Fortress more than anything on your computer at that moment. So then, after uh, you load up Team Fortress in full screen mode, you're going to do Control-Alt-Delete again, come down to Task Manager, and this is going to be opened up. Then you're going to go over to Processes again, and you're going to close everything out except for this uh, Half-Life 2 symbol, uh, except for this thing with the Half-Life 2 symbol and Half-Life2.exe. Uh, I have to keep Bandit Cam open, it, uh, otherwise it will shut down my entire recording. But right now, I could close out Steam, and I, uh, um, okay, uh, and I can close out my Task Manager. All right. So Team Fortress, besides Bandit Cam, is the only thing running right now on this entire computer, um, beside the background things, which you don't need to worry about. You just need to worry about the processes, like the windows that are open. And Team Fortress should, down here in your taskbar, be the only thing open, alright? Now, in some recordings, what just happened? It just closed itself? Oh, that that's why. Okay. And I'm gonna pause, maybe, and I'll come back if it, uh, if it loads. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably pause and come back. Alright, I am back with Team Fortress. Um, since I'm doing it in Windows mode, it's it's like white up here and it says does not respond. And uh, sorry if it's like a little smaller than usual. Because it is, um, it's in a specific Windows mode. Which you don't need to worry about because yours is going to be full screen. And yeah, all you need to worry about is the code in your heap size number, which is the megabyte, kilobyte, gigabyte thing that I showed you how to do the math, which you take a gigabyte, multiply it by a thousand, a thousand again, you divide it by two, and then, yeah, you're gonna press close on Steam, you're gonna open up Team Fortress from Steam, alright, you're gonna open Team Fortress from Steam, 
And then um, if you do have a Team Fortress for your home screen, uh, do not open it yet. Just open it from Steam for the first time, alright? Alright, just for the first time. But yeah, so I'm going to go into a server. Like right here is a CTF server. Um, and as you notice, when I opened up Team Fortress, it did not play the movie thing. Uh, which makes your game run faster and it starts it up quicker, which means getting into servers faster. And it's just beautiful. You don't need to do any console commands. You don't need to change anything whatsoever. I changed everything. Like, the graphics may look a little bad. Um, hang on, I need to turn down the, the voice because I don't want anyone to speak while I'm recording. I'm going to apply that. Uh, right here, the video, if I go to advance, it should everything here uh you may want to change the shadow detail though to low all right otherwise you're you're good you're good well yeah uh, after you change the shadow detail it's gonna take a few seconds for it to change all right so it's all good and uh yeah team fortress runs really smoothly yeah like the water looked bad though but it just looks amazing or not it doesn't look amazing but like ah century i hate centuries all right but yeah just um really cool like everything may look pixely like minecraft but it's all worth it in the long run all right when you get your uh when you, when you get your team fortress like like running and stuff and that was a horrible rocket jump but yeah, so um hope you hope this helped guys and uh yeah. That was a backfire. But yeah, level for life with the mycelium mushrooms. Have a good time, glad that goes and keep those gems channel around. Kick them out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching. And I cannot wait to see what you guys say about this because I really hope this helps. Sorry if I yammered a bit like useless information. But um But that useless information could be useful. If like, yeah. I'll put it in the description step by step, so like you're not listening to me yammer for like ten minutes. But uh, yeah, I just really hope this helps you guys, and uh, yeah, see ya.